Hello, my name's Nigel Avery and this is my beloved dog Martha. So I spent a total of four months in um, Kent Canterbury Hospital in 2022. Uh, it was a very dark time for myself and the family. Um, Martha had only been with us probably about nine months when that happened, but she, along with my wife, were the loves of my life. Uh, and I found that her coming to visit me really motivated me to get better and gave the whole fi family a moment of light. So I was here when Nigel was a patient and uh, yes we, we encouraged uh, Martha to come because I know Nigel was very much missing her and uh, we know from what his wife was saying that uh, Martha was also missing Nigel and it, it, the difference in him when she came to visit for the first time was notable. You could see how much more it encouraged him to progress with his physiotherapy, it encouraged him just with, when every aspect it lifted his mood which is a really big big thing for um, patients in intensive care they get very depressed very easily um, so to have something uh, like your dog come and visit it just makes such a huge huge difference so yeah it was really beneficial for him um, after i came out of hospital i realized that martha had been a big part of my motivation to get better and it became apparent that sort of therapy dogs going into hospitals was a fantastic idea in helping patients want to get better. So we looked into the possibility of Martha qualifying as a therapy dog, uh, approached a charity called um, Therapy Dogs Nationwide, completed the paperwork and went through the training process for Martha to take the assessment, which she passed with flying colours. Everyone wants to see Martha, everyone thinks she's gorgeous and she just loves the attention in doing that. Um, so I'm really here just as Martha's keeper. Well, I think the, the benefits to seeing Martha and Nigel coming back now and to intensive care for other patients is just, it's phenomenal. They, they also get to see that you can actually survive intensive care, which often seems as uh, a patient in intensive care, it doesn't seem always plausible that you can make it through the other end. So it, it, it's really, really important to give people that hope. Um, and it's a little bit of normality as well. I, I mean, there's lots and lots of research out there that um, pets and therapy animals make such a huge difference, not just in intensive care, but in hospitals in general. And a couple of weeks ago, we finally did our first visit back into the two wards that I'd spent all that time in. Um, and I was amazed at the positive impact it had, not just on patients, but also the staff who loved to see Martha. And we've just completed our third visit. Martha loves it and we're loving it.